bit of um, a rant, I hope it doesn't turn into too long of a rant, on coronavirus and say, staying safe. It's annoying to me that I'm staying indoors and other people aren't. It's annoying to me that some of us are actually paying attention to what we're being told will keep us healthy and safe, when a lot of you still aren't. This is not a paid holiday. This is not time off from school. You've been sent home to stay home. If you are not an essential worker, stop going in. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. It annoys the hell out of me that I'm seeing on my street teenagers or people in their early 20s getting together in gangs of threes, fours or fives and walking side by side. Oh, I don't have any symptoms. I must not have it. You don't know. You don't know if you've got it or not. You could be a carrier who doesn't show symptoms. You give it to somebody else. They then go home to, you know, they might live with their grandparents. They give it to the grandparents and they kill the grandparents because you people out there haven't got it in you to stay home. Stop being selfish and stay home. Panic buying. Just take a look at yourself when you panic buy stuff from the supermarket. Are you actually going to get through all that stuff before it goes off? Because all I've seen is people filling their trolleys in the baskets with stuff they don't need, while the vulnerable people and the elderly are then walking around going, there's nothing left for us. Um, Iceland in Chester, where I am, 9 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock in the morning on Wednesdays is purely for the elderly and the vulnerable. So if you know anybody who's old or vulnerable, uh, the Iceland supermarket in Chester... Uh, by the canal there, um, between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday, it's purely for the old people and the vulnerable to go doing their shopping so that they can actually get stuff. It's sickening that we've had to do this. It's sickening that some of you panic by. It's sickening that some of you are sharing shit on Facebook that has no grounding. If something doesn't have three reliable sources, then please don't share it. I've seen stuff go, oh, you know, if you drink hot liquids, that kills corona. No, it doesn't. I see, oh, if you take ibuprofen, that'll, that'll, that makes you more prone to it. No, it doesn't. Three reliable independent sources. A reliable independent source is not your other mates on Facebook sharing shit. If it's just one of those pretty coloured boxes with the, with the text in white and there's no link to anything, don't share it. It's horse shit. If it comes up with, well, allegedly so-and-so told me, stop. Don't share it. If it's your mate Dave who drives a taxi so he must know what he's doing, stop. Don't share it. By sharing the misinformation, you're worry-mongering, you're fear-mongering, you're putting people at more risk. Stay indoors. And very important, the government does not have a conspiracy to get you. So it's not a conspiracy by the government to sell more hand soap by telling you to wash your hands for 20 seconds. It's so you're supposed to be washing your fucking hands anyway. The fact that we needed a government health warning to remind some of you pricks to wash your fucking hands is disgraceful. It's the 21st century and you don't know to wash your freaking hands. Fuck. Stay indoors. Wash your hands. Don't be around people if you don't need to. If it's not absolutely adamant and important that you leave the house, don't leave the fucking house. There's so much stuff you can be doing indoors. Get online. Go to. There's a lot of online courses for free. Open um, Open University is now doing free courses. Use this time productively. Do something. Better yourself. Don't look at it as a couple of weeks off without. We don't have to do anything. Don't gather around with your mates and walk around. If you stay indoors, if every single one of us stayed indoors for two weeks, it goes. We'd be done. And we can all go out and enjoy the summer. But because some of you twats are selfish and you keep going out and fucking around, it means the rest of us has got to stay in. How many people have to die before you fuckers realise that it's not being made up? You selfish, selfish pricks. There are NHS staff members who are having breakdowns because they don't have enough equipment and they don't have enough funding and they're doing so many hours that they're actually just breaking down and they're blacking out and zoning out. Because you fuckers keep going, well, I don't have any symptoms, so it's perfectly okay for me to go around, blah, 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 blah. You selfish, selfish pricks. Stay in, wash your hands, don't panic, buy. Simple. I hope everybody stays safe. I hope everybody... You know, can, can keep everybody else around them safe. Stop sharing the lies. Stop promoting the misinformation. If it's not coming from three reliable, independent sources, don't share it. Simple as that. If it comes from an actual government website, do share it. Do believe it. The government is not out to get you. You... I'm not so important that the government needs to get into cahoots with all the other governments around the world to get rid of you. If they wanted to get rid of you, they just fucking zap you in the head and you'd be done. Don't buy into the horse shit. Three reliable sources, 
otherwise don't share it. If it comes from the actual proper government websites, do share it. Quick note on this because there's a thing going around Facebook about you know they, they were right at the, the main crux of we're at the peak of it of the incubation thing for the <sighs> no one from the NHS is going to share something and ask you oh do you mind just passing this along it will come with a proper government thing that gets promoted everywhere no one from the NHS if it's a proper official lease is going to have poor grammar it's not going to say something along the lines of don't associate with nobody which is what the grammar of one of these things does don't share that shit Okay, stop it. You're part of the problem when you do that. For the next two weeks, stay indoors. Wash your fucking hands. Don't panic by leaving the vulnerable and the elderly with nothing. Don't share anything unless it comes from three reliable sources. Are you on this yet? Hopefully we'll get through this and we'll get through it in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully within a month it will be done and dusted. Hopefully we can all do this and stop being selfish and we can all then go out and celebrate the summer as one together. Fantastic. Until then, stay indoors, wash your hands, only share stuff that comes from official government sites or if you can back it up with three reliable sources. It's not that difficult. Stay the fucking doors, wash your hands, you selfish pricks. Until then, train hard, train smart, stay safe. <laughs>